In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Q&A option here in Google Meet. This is a new option in the activities section here in Meet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on activities. And uh, there are already videos about breakout rooms and polls that you can find here on the YouTube channel. So we're going to be focusing on Q&A here for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and click right on this. And then I'm going to turn on the option for Q&A. And I can choose to allow questions and I can sort them different ways. And even myself as the host, because this is my host view right here, I have the option to ask questions. But I'm going to skip on over to the other view right here. And this is the participant view. So I'm going to click on the activity section and I'll have the little green dot right there. You'll notice. See how it's green? And then it's green again over here. And that is what lets us know that Q&A is active. So here I can come over here and I can say, what is your favorite? We'll go with candy bar since it's almost Halloween, assuming I can spell candy right. And then we're going to hit post. Now, you'll notice that people actually have the, ch uh, the choice to be able to upvote that question and kind of raise it up in terms of priority for the speaker. Uh, and then if I swipe myself back on over to the host view, I can see this as well. And I can even hide this question. Uh, so as the participant, uh, well, I, I know that my question was asked, but it's hidden from other people. Um, or I can mark it as answered or I can delete it, um, which is pretty neat. So I could say that, uh, for example, my favorite candy bar is the whatchamacallit bar. It's very underrated in my opinion. Uh, and now that I've answered that question, I can go ahead and click as mark as answered. Uh, and then I can proceed on to the next one. Uh, what's nice about this is that um, at the end of it, you will get uh, a list emailed to you, the host anyway, will get a list of all the questions that were asked in the Q&A. So if you wanted to follow up on something later, um, you'd have the option to be able to do that. Uh, but that is pretty much it when it comes to Q&A. It's the only thing that we really have to worry about. Just go ahead and flipping that switch. And then when we're all done, we can just uncheck it uh, and then it's done. Um, and we'll have a list right here of all the questions. Uh, and then if you have run into any issues or you need any help, by all means, send us an email over at tech.sch.org and we'll get you all taken care of.